Good morning and welcome to the Prime Cap Daily. My name's Jamie Lijinski and it is Friday the 26th of October. Here is what we will be talking to our clients about today. Actually, we're going to begin by talking to you or telling you about what we were talking to our clients about last night. I bumped into a firm that places management consultants uh, in various projects around the world. They are my client, they conduct and what's called a natural hedge, which means that they build certain customers of theirs in currencies like US dollar. So they receive US dollar into their own US dollar account. Rather than exchanging sterling into US dollar when they have an invoice to pay, they just use the accumulated float to settle the invoice itself. Um, this is called um, a natural hedge. This is called netting off your income against your expenses in the currency that you're operating in. We wish that more companies would do this. Many aren't aware that it is an option um, and that it's the most cost effective way to manage um, the flow of cash through your business. If it sounds like you, please do give us a call. Sterling, Sterling. as we speak to you, finds itself at 112.50, roughly, against the euro and below the 129 mark against the US dollar. There's no massive market shock or no significant data that has pushed the pound to this level. It's indicative of a general um, risk aversion across the markets. One of the key um, focal points, one of the key headlines at the moment in the United Kingdom is the demise and the bloodbath on the UK high street. The retail sector has seen um, far more um, divesting of actual physical um, assets, presence, commercial property recently. In fact, it's been the most prolific period since 2008. Now, that what we're hoping, has... of course, is that the UK consumer keeps up with their spending. And reverting back to my conversation yesterday with my client, that in itself presents an issue because we're spending on money we don't have. We're using debt, credit cards, um, whatever else it might be, our savings um, to prop up our lifestyles. And this is key, um, true of the UK and indeed perhaps of the US. Now, does that mean that further down the line, there will be a consumer credit um, issue? Perhaps, especially because wages aren't keeping up with the pace of inflation at the moment. The UK consumer is indicative of overall economic confidence, you could argue this, and it's quite a prominent part of the UK economy. But at the same time, is uh, is the consumer that is spending on, on credit card forcing themselves into a hole, forcing themselves into a corner that ultimately they'll have to confront further down the line? Is this kicking the can of debt? If oh, you would like to talk absolutely. about hedging, this netting off, the forward use of a forward contract, then please do get in touch. We will be having a lot more conversations about this with our client base because this is our this will be our talking point for next week particularly with our clients and um, what can they do to protect themselves from turbulence that may come to animate the market and I think the overriding thoughts of our clients yesterday was that sterling may likely tank this is because there seems to be very little coordination or very little coherence um, in Parliament, uh, you know, in, in, in Westminster, as to when a deal will be done and what form it will take. So that old chestnut, um, the headlines um, with regards to a Brexit being achieved at all, is serving to give um, a little bit of concern to certain investors who are seeing nothing happen. There was a frenzy a week, 10 days ago, with regards to a deal being imminent, and now suddenly all quiet on the um, UK front. Thank you for your kind attention. It is the end of the week. We look forward to regaling you on Monday.